Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're gonna do this. We're making jelly in Cinema 4D. Okay, let's set up our scene. We're gonna go 1080 by 1080 this time. We'll keep it square because we wanna post this on social media. Let's add in a camera and switch it on and let's just get it into position. Something like that should do us. Now we'll start building our jelly. Let's go up here and bring in a flower object. Let's grab that and in the object tab, let's change the plane to XZ so it's pointing up. Let's scale that down a bit. Right there looks good. Now we'll duplicate our flower. You can just hold control and drag it up. We'll grab that move tool and put it up here. Let's go back to our first flower and we'll change the inner radius to 30 centimeters and the outer radius to 40 centimeters. And for our top flower, let's make the inner radius 12 centimeters and the outer radius 24 centimeters. And we'll put that about there. Okay, with our top flower selected, let's hold Alt and add a loft object so it'll become the parent and we'll drag our bottom flower into that under here as well. Now that's starting to look a bit like jelly. We want it to be a bit smoother than that. Let's click on our loft and we'll make the mesh subdivision U 115 and the mesh subdivision V 25. We also want to tick the organic form box. It's looking a bit better now. We just want the top to be a bit smoother. Let's go into the caps tab and turn on fillet cap. We'll bring the steps up to five and the radius up to eight centimeters. Now it's starting to look a bit more like jelly. Let's tick the create single object box and we'll come in for a closer look. Okay, I think we're ready to make the plate for our jelly to sit on. Let's middle mouse click and go into our right view. We'll frame that up and we'll grab our pen tool. Now we're just gonna draw a pretty rough shape underneath our jelly, which will become our plate. Stick one here and around here, one about there, up here, there, and and at the end, we'll click back on our first point so we've got a closed shape. Let's middle mouse click back into our perspective view. And as you can see, the spline doesn't look like much yet, but we're going to come up here and add a lathe. Remember to hold Alt so it becomes apparent. And instantly, it's looking a bit more plate shaped. If you've never used a lathe before, it basically just rotates the shape around to make a full solid object. We wanna make this a bit smoother. So while holding Alt again, we wanna add a subdivision surface. That'll become the parent and it's looking much smoother. Right, that's the modeling out of the way. Let's set up the animation. We wanna keep everything nice and tidy. So let's bring a null in and we'll put everything in there. Let's switch our camera back on so we can see the area we can work in. We wanna loop this animation. So I think 70 frames is all we need. Let's come forward to frame 20 and we'll set a keyframe at zero in the X axis of our null. And the same again at frame 50. So we want it to slide in from the right and out to the left. We'll put 230 at frame zero and set a keyframe. And then at frame 70, we'll put negative 230. So if we play that back, we get something like this. Okay, let's stop that. And we'll quickly organize our scene so things don't get too confusing. Let's rename our null to control as it's controlling our animation. And the subdivision surface to plate and the loft is the jelly. Okay, to make this jelly jiggly, we need to collapse the object. To do that, you just select the object and press C on the keyboard. Now it's a single piece of geometry that we can manipulate. Now, while holding shift, we'll come up to the deform tab and we'll add a jiggle. And that should become a child of our jelly. And if we play that back, you'll see it jiggling around there but at the moment it's being applied to the entire geometry. And while it does look cool, it's not quite what we want. Let's grab our jelly and middle click and come back into the right perspective view. We'll come up here to our rectangular selection tool and making sure our vertex mode is selected to the left, we can grab all of these vertices. Probably to about halfway should work for us. Now with those selected, let's come back into our camera view and we'll go select set vertex weight. We wanna make sure the value is set to 100 and hit okay. You'll see now up here on our jelly, a new vertex map has been created. And we can actually use this to drive our jiggle effect. Basically anything that's yellow will be affected by our jiggle and anything that's red won't be. 
While we're here, it might be a good idea to smooth this out a little bit so we've got a nice transition from yellow to red. If you double click on the vertex map, it should bring up the paint tool menu, which we've already got open here. If we go down to mode and change this to smooth, making sure that the smooth is set to 50 and quickly come up and make sure we've got our jelly selected. Let's double click that again. We can now come down and hit apply all and that should smooth out that transition. Now it's just a matter of applying this to our jiggle deformer. If we go to the restriction tab, we can drag that vertex map in there. We'll go and hit play again. And there you go, wiggly jelly. If you wanted to, you could probably smooth that out even more. We'll just go up and double click here again and everything is how we want it. We'll hit apply all a couple of times. That should be nice and smooth now. And that's even better, I think. One last thing you could do to make this even better is chuck our jelly in a subdivision surface. Let's do that and have a look. We'll grab our jelly and come up here, holding Alt subdivision surface. And you can see it's subtle, but I think it does make it a little bit better. And that's about it for our jelly tutorial. As usual, you can download the project file below to save a bit of time. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section below, or you can leave a like or dislike. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. Catch you next time.